So you want to cancel this contract and walk away from the house that you are under contract for and you have this one burning question. Hi, my name is Elena Kavrigin. I am a local realtor in Asheville, North Carolina. And in this video, I'm gonna answer a question whether or not earnest money deposit is refundable. According to offer to purchase and contract that we use here in North Carolina, a buyer has a due diligence period that is specified in the contract to inspect the property and to potentially walk away from the property if they change their mind for any reason at all. Earnest money deposit, according to the contract again, is refundable to the buyer if the buyer terminates the contract or gives a written notice to the seller by the end of the due diligence period. Usually due diligence period has an expiration date and time. Let's say it is November 15th at 5 p.m. If you give a seller a notice on November 15th at 6 p.m., it will be too late and the seller will be entitled to keep all your money even if you decide to walk away from the property and terminate the contract. Sounds easy peasy, huh? Something came up on the inspection and you're not comfortable with it to proceed purchasing this house or the seller did not want to negotiate some of the terms or the appraisal came back too high and the seller does not want to negotiate or you just simply got cold feet and don't feel like he, this is the house for you. You have all the rights to terminate the contract during due diligence period and say, I'm out, give me my money back now. Here where it can get a little tricky though. The earnest money deposit is kept in an escrow or in a trust account, usually by an attorney that you as a buyer pick. And in order for the attorney to release the money back to you, a seller needs to sign off of that. According to the contract, they totally should do that because it's in the contract, right? Usually that's the way it happens, but in some very rare cases, a seller, they do not want to let the money go. It happens when there was a lot of emotions uh, involved and the seller feels very hurt and do not want to let go of the deal. The good news for the buyer is that, or maybe an encouragement for the buyer is that until the seller releases the earnest money back to you, they cannot put the house back on the market. So now you, that you know how to get your earnest money back, why don't you watch another video about the difference between earnest money and due diligence money deposits that are both expected of you as a buyer from a seller when you go on the contract. Right there. See you next time.